Well, it's a beautiful Saturday morning and I'm out and about on a walk, as you can see. Denby Castle, in front of me there. A lot of my walks start from this place. And I'm heading towards Timau Reservoir today on the Prion Road. I'll tell you a bit more about that a bit later. So yeah, um, being that this is North Wales, is it going to make an appearance? No, it was earlier on. Anyway, Draigo. Is it going to make an appearance? Just about. Um, yeah, being that this is North Wales, I'm going to give you a few English to Welsh translations. So you're going to get a Welsh lesson at the same time. So yeah, there it is. Oh, Red Dragon Draig Goch, there we go. Oh, I can just about make it out anyway. And uh, Denby Castle, Castell Dimbich. Denby Castle. Also Croisori Dimbich, or Croisori Dimbich. Welcome to Denby. So yeah, anyway, obviously, basically, Starting off at uh, Castell Dimbich, heading towards Timaur Reservoir. And as I said, I'll have a bit of a chat along the way. Heading down to Gwynyai. Gwynyai Woods. Which is, <laughs> it gets quite dark. This section here, you know. So it's not very sunny, I thought it was going to be a bit brighter today, but anyway, this is the Gwynyai. Gwynyai Woods. So, see you in a minute. with wildlife this place. It's not very big, it's at the back. Oh, I forgot to tell you too, where I was, uh, I'll, I'll double back, just a uh, point of interest along the way. There you can hear the, the bird song. It's a great squirrel there just in front of me there. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> if you ever want to visit the, the Goblin Tower, that's where I've left castle come down these stairs I'm heading that way but just go through that kissing gate there and then just make your way down all the way just follow the path the steps all the way down and then when you get to right at the very bottom um, just on your left will be GT the Goblin Tower which is haunted might not mention that so yeah the infamous Goblin Tower, but I'm heading this way towards another another <laughs> landmark, which I'll show you in a minute. Listen to that all day. Beautiful. Give you a bit of a clue. Can I from here? Where can I? From here, perhaps. There's a bit of a clue to the second landmark. <laughs> I what that place is. Oh, that's a better clue there. There it is, the NWH, North Wales Hospital, mental. Hospital in Welsh is a sputty, as in a sputty gland fluid, which is the gland fluid hospital. 
there's a car. Anyway, no updates today. Straight to Timau Reservoir via a spotty, the hospital. Anyway, I'm in disguise today. <laughs> I won't be recognised, will I? <laughs> this is me. <laughs> yeah, so hospital in Welsh is a spotty. Looking across to the Cludians, and on my right is the infamous cinder track, which I'm not going down today. I just haunted that, by the way, just in case I've not mentioned it. Now I'm heading straight towards, well, one of the steepest roads in Denby. There's a lot of steep roads in Denby. And one of them I'm going to show you in a minute. And there it is, just over the bridge. It's one of the steepest roads in Denby, albeit it's on the outskirts. There are a lot of steep roads and that actually in the town of Denby, but this is one of the steepest on the Shortest and the steepest, I think. Probably on camera, doesn't look as steep as it actually is, but uh, take it from me, it is very steep. And just on my right here is the start or the finish, just depends which way you're round you take it, of what's called the mental loop goes up there. It's the mental loop and about a third of the way up there it climbs, you've got really good vantage point of the mental itself but I'm not going that way up but a bit later on I'll show you if I had gone that way I'll show you where you come out it's on the Prion road but anyway this is the start of the climb. <laughs> Sun's coming out and it's warming up and as I say on camera probably doesn't appreciate how steep this road is. It's very, very steep. The sheep are saying hello. <laughs> that car turned off to the mental loop. <laughs> but yeah, I thought so that is right angle to the road so Give you an idea of the gradient. <laughs> Very steep. Come to a crossroads. Ah, so if you can hear me, come to a crossroads in a minute. Head up to the Prion. Just about make out a bit of the NWH from here. nestled in the trees there but like I say earlier from the mental loop it's about a third of the way that's where all, that's where all the noise is coming from yeah about a third of the way Got a cracking view of the, the mental anyway it comes to the uh, crossroads now Well, when I say crossroads, it's sort of a crossroads, a bit of a staggered crossroads. I'll give you some uh, pronunciations now on the road sign. We've got Ostrad, Dimbich, Denby, Henslan, Dimbich, Denby. You can head down that way to Denby, or obviously the way I've come. Glen, 
Llanrider, uh, Prion, that's what I'm heading for, Prion and Saron. You can see there, to non uh, Welsh speakers, you'd probably pronounce that Prion. But it, uh, but it is actually pronounced Prion. So that's what I'm heading, it's Prion. Like I say, non Welsh speakers. You'd look at that and you'd say it's Prion, but it's not, it's pronounced Prion. Oh god, these cars, man! Worse than passing the mental. <laughs> yeah, so I'm heading up that way. Not listen to this walk, it's not long. It's probably about four, four mile, five mile, perhaps. Just one way. But it's a place I've never been to. Never ever visited Timaur Reservoir. I think it's something to do with Dur Cymru. Now, Dude is water, Cymru is Wales, so it's Wales water. Something to do with that, I, I think. And um, Timaur means big house in Welsh. T, T Y, T is, is house, and Maur is big. So you're saying house big. But it, in English, it means big house, so unusual name for a reservoir. Um, is that a car coming? And reservoir in Welsh is Cronva Dur. Cronva Dur. So, Timaur, big house. Um, yeah, Cymru is Wales and Cymraig is Welsh. So, <laughs> Welsh lesson in this. Oh god, that sun is hot. So, anyway, keep going. Onwards and upwards. I climb quite a bit now. So, onwards and upwards. I'll be turning off in about, so probably about half a mile. I'll be turning off this road. Short walk then, probably a few hundred metres and I'll be... Oh, there's a car, um, going, turning off on a footpath. So I'll keep going. Yikes, two cars! <sighs> That's another thing with these uh, country walks from, well, North Wales and now, once you turn off the main road, the, the, the roads and the lanes, they get very narrow. So you just got to watch for traffic and you get a lot of tractors and farm machinery and what have you. Like I say, I'll be turning off in a minute. This, this, it's not too bad, but when I turn off, it'll get even narrower. But I've just got about a few hundred yards or meters or whatever you want to call it. And then there's a footpath then, and then it's just a couple of yards more or less to team out. As I say, never ever been um, to this. It's not big, it's only a small little reservoir, but I think it's something to do with Dur Cymru, Wales water. Wow, it's warming up now too. Keep going. I just talked about farm machinery and tractors. There's another one, there's one coming now. Cars stuck behind him as well. Give way to them. Just pull over, pull, you know, step to the side. And some of them, they're quite wide. They take up the whole of the road. As I said earlier, I turn off soon. Well, I say soon, probably about half a mile. And then uh, the roads will get even narrower. So, wow, the sun is warm now. It's really warming up. Dimbich, Denby, one and a half. Prion, one. Saron, two and three quarter. <clears throat> and just on my right here is the other end of the mental loop. If I'd have took the, um, the it's, well, just after the bridge, if I just showed earlier, if I'd have took that route, <coughs> that's, this is where I would have come out. It's the other end of the mental loop. But I'm carrying on going. Not long now, I'll be turning off. Probably about a quarter of a mile, something like that. 
lines are getting a bit of a nuisance too. There's the sign. That's where I'll be turning off soon. And this Denby. It's a Prion, Prion and Saron Road for a back road. It's very busy, very busy. Loads of cars have passed me. But I'll be turning off soon. That's my turn off point. If I carry on going up there, I end up in Prion. I'm turning off now. So the road will get a bit narrower and a bit quieter. As you can see the road's got quite narrow now. I have a job for two cars to pass here. But it's uh, a lot quieter than the Denby to pre on. I see quite a few videos on YouTube about, well, some visiting Denby or North Wales or whatever, yeah. and they say, oh, I hope we see some sheep. <laughs> Visit North Wales, you won't be disappointed. Sheep everywhere, and cows, and the associated smells as well that you get used to that. This is where I uh, turn off. Ooh. Try not to avoid the nettles, but an impossibility. I think I got stung about half a dozen times. And... Ow. front of me should be Timo. Can't see it from here but as I said earlier never ever been here before. You can sort of see this oh, I can see the I think I see the water there now but it goes that way it widens up it gets narrower down here it widens up and the sun's coming out. I thought I could see water, but it wasn't water, it was the hedge. Will I find Timo Reservoir? <laughs> Plot thickens. It's behind that hedge. Oh, I could see it through the trees there. How you get to it is another thing. Right down here. It's over that hedge there, there's probably that sign probably years ago used to say no fishing or something like that. So let's see if I can get through here. It's all part of the adventure this isn't it? <laughs> nope. Can I get through here? Let's try further up the field. I'll get back to you in a minute. Try further up that way. Hopefully, you got a glimpse of it there. So, but there is a path. It looks like, but it's the other side of the, the other side of the hedge. I don't know if you can. There's a stile you can get across. There's someone, someone fishing over there. How's he got there? <laughs> be a way you can get in. Anyway that's it there. I can't get right to the bank because Timau Reservoir. First time I've ever been here. The 
big house reservoir. See if I can get in across the, uh, oh, does it look like a shed of some sort there? Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute. Now, I should have turned off earlier, I think there was a bridleway um, a few hundred yards before this footpath I turned off. I think I should have taken that to get actual to, to the reservoir itself. But anyways, this is the nearest I've got. Nearest I can get. <laughs> like I was saying, I've been here before. So, I made it as far as I could get. And that fella, um, that chap, I thought he was fishing, but he's not. He's, he looks like he's clearing some sluice gates or something, whatever they call them. Clearing mud or something like that, or algae or something. So, that'll do me for today. I'll head on my way back down to Denby now. So, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the Welsh lesson as well, <laughs> along the way, and the chat. And I'll see you in the next one.